So, I survived the night. Uh, it started raining about 3 a.m. And then it stopped around 8.30 or so a.m. I don't know if you can hear it. It's all still falling from the trees, but it's not actually raining. Um, yeah, whatever the animal was that was circling around my campsite last night, uh, I believe it to be a raccoon. It was small, but not super small. I never got to see what, exactly what it was, but I'm guessing it was a raccoon based on the tracks I saw and the size of how it sounded moving around. Anyway, <laughs> around 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m., I had enough and I got pissed. And I took my lights and I went searching and I yelled at him. And I told him to fuck off. And after that, he didn't come back. I don't, I don't know if that's because of me or because the rain started. Probably because the rain started because I scared him away a few times and he kept coming back. So, once the rain started, he probably went home. Anyway, I'm uh, going to make some breakfast here shortly. And uh, right now, I'm filtering some water so I can have something to drink. And I told you guys I would show you how I filter water. So here I have my water storage container. And my filter attached to the top of it, like I showed. And you just open it up. And you take your drink jug. And you just squeeze it in. kind of slow, but it's better than puking and shitting my brains out. Some other things I forgot to mention about this filter. Uh, it cost me like $19.22 on Amazon, which is just an awesome, an awesome buy. And it filters out 0 0.2 microns, which is as far as can be measured. And it removes 99.9% .9 of bacteria and protozoa from your water, such as Giardia, which is the most common. One thing it does not protect you from, however, is viruses. The good thing is, viruses typically are not found in water in North America. So you really don't got to worry about viruses. Dirty stream water coming from a pond. Clean mountain spring water. And it's delicious. Um, I guess I'll show you this too. It also comes with a straw. So you can just pop it on here.
like so. Actually, no, you're supposed to put it on here. And then, actually still water in it. You just suck it out. You can just dip that in a stream, pond, whatever. The other thing that they give you is this giant syringe. This is for backwashing your filter, for cleaning it out. Uh, what you do is you attach it to the reverse of the flow. Fill this plunger and then you just squeeze it through as hard as you can. And it cleans out your filter. This thing's pretty much good for forever, as long as you take care of it. And that is the Sawyer Water Mini Filter. Um, I'll start filming again when I make breakfast.